Welcome back. It's Beth again, and we're ready to look at week three of McGraw-Hill My Map, and we're going to focus on some of the tools that you have. So let's go on over to Connect Ed right now and My Map. And you'll see on the screen, we're at our home page. And this time we want to look at eTools. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just go on to a chapter. And you'll notice here in the carousel that this moves, showing me all the assets that I could use inside this chapter. And I want to look at this one right here. Notice if you put your cursor, it's going to tell you the title of that particular resource. And when I put my cursor here, these are the e-tools. Let's go ahead and click on that. And immediately it takes me over to my virtual manipulatives that are used as a part of this lesson. It takes me to the exact manipulative that I want to use as part of instruction. So you can see how this complements not just your planning, but also your instruction. So let's look over here on the top left corner. This first drop down menu lets me choose my grade level and I have all of my grades there. I'll touch the triangle and close that. The middle says backgrounds and I can look at game boards, storyboards, and even work mats. So again, think about how you might want to uh, use these with your projector or your interactive whiteboard, whichever you're using. And then finally, my last one is manipulatives. And notice they're in alphabetical order. These are the tools that you're using in your classroom concretely. Students may be using them at their desk, and now you can use the exact same tool in, um, in your classroom electronically. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose kindergarten this morning, or it might be afternoon where you are. I'm gonna go ahead and choose a storyboard so we can really you know, use our language of mathematics. Let's go to the beach. Let's choose the beach black background. Look at that. Popped right up. And I'm going to choose bears. And when I look at my bears, look at the colors. So as an early childhood teacher, I can talk about the mathematics and really use the language. Notice how my green bear went to the slide and the purple bear is going to stand in the concession line and the yellow bear is going to go in the water. And we can talk about the language of math and the mathematics. Move to the bottom and you see again my options of clearing the screen. I can clear those bears and I can clear the background simply by clicking on those icons you see on your screen now. Okay. Now I'm going to pull my, my boat over and I can place my bears in a boat. Notice how nicely they sit down and they cross their legs and they never get up. Isn't that great? Now look at this. Two bears got in that were green. Three purple bears joined them. Let's make a number model. Think about the math that's going on here as you use your electronic tools. Now let's go back over and choose a different grade. Let's go to four. And I won't choose a background, but I will choose the manipulatives of, well, let's go to base 10 blocks. We all love those, don't we? I'm going to pull over a flat, and I'm going to pull over a rod or two. And as we look at these and we talk about decomposing numbers, such a huge word in Common Core, but do the children really get it? So let's think about decomposing, and I will decompose my 100, decompose my 10. Now the word has real meaning, doesn't it? It really goes along with your visual cues, along with your language of math. Let's go to the bottom and we can clear our objects. This is what your electronic tools are going to do for you, not just with planning your instruction, but also, of course, with the ability to use it as an instructional tool. Now, you saw me go in through a lesson, but I can also click on resources. And, of course, any lesson that I happen to be in, and I can change lessons right here, it's going to, to come up as a tool. And you see it there, I have two tools in this particular lesson, and my two colored counters in my virtual e-tools will be one of them. Now, what's your task following this short time together? I'd like for you to go in this week and open either your resources and select tools or go in through a lesson and select tools and use your virtual manipulatives for the first time. Thank you.